Welcome back, X Rhythms, and it's so good to see you again. Uh, my name's still Tom, and I'm still joined by uh, still Jordan. <laughs> He's still Jordan, <laughs> and we're we're going to play another game of Rocket League as we share with you some of the things that, uh, in our many years of gaming, um, we know are really important for you to keep an eye out to make sure that you make the most of the amazing thing that is video games, whilst making sure that you don't alienate yourself from both your friends and uh, people around you, parents, guardians, whoever it might be. Um, and we've just got a couple of things that we think is really important for you to keep an eye out for. And the first thing, as many of you will know, is a little something called microtransactions. Now, I don't think either of us are right in saying we probably feel we've spent too much money uh, at any point. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think I've spent too much money on anything at all. Um, I feel like I've managed my spending quite wisely. I think I would equally say that I, I don't feel I've ever gone overboard, but I know plenty of people that have. And I guess that's one of the things that we would say is worth keeping an eye out on. So many games, this one included, are now free to play. And what that really means is that you don't pay for the game like you used to. Instead, you're paying for little extras. And so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on what you spend. Maybe consider having a limit on how much you'll uh, put into a game. If you've got your mum or dad's credit cards as like the way to spend money on your console or whatever, please, please do not <laughs> spend all the money on it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Oh no, oh, I'll just let one in. Say for example, you're opening packs on FIFA, it's not really going that well or not really feeling that fun, then please just don't continue to like spend games that I know of. Don't really have that sort of system where it's essentially gambling. The things that you buy with microtransactions on most games now are mostly cosmetic. They, they're not really pay to win. Uh, even actually recently, um, in FIFA, as another example, they actually introduced preview packs. So you have to open it as a preview and then decide if you want to spend the FIFA points on. You can't just blindly open it. I mean, even on Rocket League as well, they used to have crates on here where you would just blindly open it and get a random item. They replaced it with something called blueprints which you open before you buy and if you want that item you buy it yeah uh, simple as that a much better way of doing it so there's still a long way to go but in the meantime keep an eye on how much you're spending in terms of the yeah. uh, the second thing we think is important to look out for um we've both seen the fact that uh, setting limits is something that's very important and you were saying george that uh, that was the case for you as you were growing up, wasn't it? Yeah, so the limits I got set when I was younger and in school was essentially four hours a week. Oops. Uh, four hours a week with an hour at a time at any time. I can't go for longer than an hour, but I can't do any more than four hours in a week. And I think that's really helped me be able later down the line, like nowadays, to be able to set limits when I'm gaming, you know, not stay on too late or not stay on for too long. I would definitely, from my own experience, especially with playing games through lockdown, when it was very easy to just by staying up till whatever hour of the day, uh, definitely setting yourself a limit of when your last game, you have to have started your last game by is a much more sensible thing than saying, oh, I'm going to stop by 11 because 11 turns into 10 past 11 as you inevitably don't finish your game on time or whatever. The last one of the three things that we were kind of thinking of pitfalls to watch out for, are, have a look at if you see any behavioural changes in, in you. I kind of was saying that putting on the hat of uh, playing too much or becoming addicted to games is something that we've, I, I know I've been guilty of. Uh, I don't know if you have, George. Yeah, George yeah. as well. Both of us have been guilty of uh, playing a game so much to get better and better, and it ends up taking over your life. And I guess now what we're seeing is we're coming out of lockdown, aren't we? We've got to be careful about what experiences we might be missing out on from when we get totally stuck uh, in front of a computer screen. And for lots of people, that's actually a pretty important step. You may also find that you start to have a bit of a change in how you act. Uh, and if you find yourself getting angry or annoyed at a game, I think we'd probably just say stop for a bit, take a take a breather, maybe consider changing game for a night, 
if I'm not enjoying a game, I just stop like playing altogether, playing any game. Because if I if I stop playing a game because I'm getting angry at it, and then go on to another game straight after, I'm gonna get angry at that other game because that's just the mood I'm in. So I just think, no, I'll just stop. I'll just chill. I don't I, I don't need this. I don't need to be. I don't need to feel this way right now. It's just not mm. worth it, in my opinion. Exactly. If you love video games, then keep playing them. Send us in your stories of times that games have been really important to you. And if you've got any questions about video games, we'd love for you to ask them to us because we might not have all the answers, but we'd love to try and help out with whatever questions you've got. Um, Jordan, it's been ace to play Rocket League with you. I don't know if you're winning right now. I don't know what happened with my game. This is the joy of online gaming, and it's us doing it all kind of live, isn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you. I hope you're going to win. Yeah, it's been great to chat with you today. Thank you. Glad to be great to be here. See you guys soon. Bye.